coastal town of Sapienza. This was the second main location players travel to in the first Hitman game. The map contains a mansion where most of the main mission takes place. A secret underground lab which contains the first non-NPC target in the trilogy. And a beautiful commercial and residential area full of places to explore. In the leaked early builds of Hitman, Sapienza is the second most complete level after Paris. But it's definitely not as finished as Paris was, as there are placeholders all over the map. In this video, I'm going to take a look at an early build of Sapienza to document things that were cut, changed, or may have just been interesting. So let's take a look. Good morning 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is Silvio Caruso, brilliant bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, has learned that Caruso is developing a DNA-specific virus able to target anyone anywhere in the world. Precise, invisible and undetectable. The client finds the project unethical and wants it stopped, but without destroying Ether in the process. She asks us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the unfinished virus prototype. If able you should also remove Caruso's lab head Francesca de Santius, who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research. Caruso reportedly suffers from several neurotic disorders and due to his acute travel phobia, Ether has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere on the Caruso family estate, which is under constant guard by private security forces and will not be easily accessed. Even so, this contract is very important to the ICA. Caruso's virus is a threat to our craft as well as our core ideals, so failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Now let's take a look at some more general cuts and changes. 47 spawned at the cafe instead of outside the mansion. Francesca DeSantis, otherwise known as Franny DeSani, looked very different. Silvio Caruso looked very different. The golf coach, Roberto, originally used the same outfit that Silvio uses in the final game. There was a crane in the underground lab that 47 could control. Crates that 47 could conceal items into were removed from the map. These crates will be moved by NPCs from one area to another.
This crate would be moved to multiple areas by different NPCs. Dialogue by two of the workers who moved crates was removed. Well, better snap to it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Got a ton of stuff to do. Talk to you later. The safe in the attic didn't exist. You couldn't shoot through the lab glass to destroy the virus. The cafe was open. This fashion shop was also open. The ICA safe house didn't exist and was instead just a generic apartment. Rocco and his sister didn't exist, therefore he couldn't Get down here now! Not necessarily cut content or changes, but interestingly enough, the Kraken Easter Egg worked in this build. Let's compare some of the opportunities between the early builds of Sapienza and the final game. If you've only played Hitman 2 or Hitman 3, opportunities are the same thing as mission stories. The A Case Most Peculiar opportunity, which in the final game involved Francesca meeting with a private investigator who used to work for Silvio Caruso, is instead called Silvio's Private Affairs in early builds of Sapienza. In this version, the investigator is still working for Silvio and plans to meet him instead of Francesca. Once you get close to the investigator, information regarding the opportunity will appear on the screen. The description of the opportunity in-game says, Silvio has hired a private investigator and is scheduled to meet him today at a secret location. Finding the secret location will be an opportunity to access Silvio outside of the mansion. The objective of the opportunity says to, Stalk the investigator and discover the secret location.
After following the private investigator around, he'll eventually reach the docks like he does in the final game. Once there, Silvio will make his way to meet him. Once Silvio arrives, the investigator has some really minor dialogue. Ah, jeez, finally. This better be worth the trip, Mr. Caruso. After this, the opportunity breaks and the two just stand in front of each other until you alert them or restart the level. of science and horticulture for Christ. I don't deserve this. Man. Insufferable mama's boy. You're out of balls, all right. <laughs> Should have said that. I would have, I would have the opportunity by candlelight works the same way as it does in the final game, but I thought there was one funny thing to share. Roberto wears the same outfit that Silvio uses in the final game, like we said before, but the outfit simply doesn't work for 47, who loses his head when he has to wear it. You blend in on the bed, rather than on the chair when waiting for Francesca. The opportunity catharsis was instead known as a private session. There's some minor changes to this opportunity. Dr. Lafayette spawns directly outside of the mansion instead of spawning at the cafe. There's then some cut dialogue between him and the guards as he approaches the front gate. Dr. Oscar Lafayette, here to see Mr. Caruso. Mr. Caruso is running late, Doctor. You can wait at the cafe if you'd like. Just tell them that you're a guest of Bill Caruso. Thank you. Very well. When the doctor reaches the cafe, he'll sit at an empty table and make an order. Medium half-calf, no foam, non-fat vanilla soy latte, please. And put it on Villa Caruso. Gentleman knows his coffee. Coming right up. If 47 disguises himself as the doctor, the dialogue is different with the butler. He'll instead tell you to head upstairs yourself, instead of him guiding you to the room like he does in the final game. Hey. Ah, Doctor. You can wait for Senor Caruso upstairs. I hope you're as good as they say, Doctor. House Caruso needs an heir, if you catch my drift. 47 does not talk during the therapy session like he does in the final game. Silvio's dialogue at the beginning and end of the session is slightly different to reflect this. I get it. I'm the one supposed to do the talking. I suppose that's what you call the silent treatment, huh? <laughs> this is bad timing. I have urgent work that must be done. See my head of staff about rescheduling. You will be paid. Y you remembered. Thank you, Doctor. Ether sends a specialist to rummage through my brain. They must think I'm losing it. I get it. I'm the one supposed to do the talking. Suppose that's what you call the silent treatment, huh? <laughs> what do you want me to say? I'm under a lot of pressure. Work. Mother died last year. Stress manifests itself in strange ways, I'm told. What the hell is going on? Down. The opportunity, the good son, is mostly the same except for some minor changes. Diana has dialogue about the opportunity, but it wasn't voiced yet, so they used the generic AI voice as a placeholder. Our research shows that every month on the day of Isabella Caruso's death, Silvio Caruso orders a fresh wreath for her grave. So keep an eye out for Flower Deliveryman 47. Could be away inside the mansion. 
When 47 talks to the butler with the flowers, he asks him to leave them on a table nearby and to make his own way out. Ah, excellent. Put it uh, right over there, please. Senior Caruso orders a fresh bouquet every month. Bless his heart. Such a devoted son. Oh, good. Please take them to the main hall. Excellent. Uh, could you please see yourself out? I am busy, busy, busy. The flowers being delivered trigger Silvio to come and get them, who then takes them to the grave himself. In the final game, the butler escorts you to the grave and you place them yourself, triggering Silvio to head straight for the grave. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Follow me on Twitter for the latest updates on my videos and other content. And don't forget to subscribe to support the channel.